Good evening, Internet. Craig here with Hurry Up Pinball, and we are back tonight, episode 198. Uh, we're click... Can't, can't speak today. Quickly closing out on episode uh, 200. So, uh, episode 198, we're going to play a little James Bond uh, tonight. Last time I streamed it, it had .83 code in it. Um, might have been .84, but uh, they came out with a code update on Friday, and they came out with a code update... I'm sorry, Thursday, I think... And then on Friday, they had an update for like bugs and fixes. So this is 0.87. So um, they added some, uh, I think they added some new modes in it. Uh, stack, there's some stacking here too. I'm sure there's some other bugs. We might find them. Uh, but tonight, I'm just going to play. I know it's Valentine's Day. Uh, I asked uh, the missus what she wanted to do. She's like, I don't have any plans. I just want to relax. And I said, okay, do you want to hang out and do something? You know, uh, if we hang out and do something, are you going to fall asleep at 8.30 on the couch like normal? And she said, yeah, probably. I said, so you're telling me I should stream? And she's like, yeah, you should probably go stream. So <laughs> that's my Valentine's Day. But uh, I love, love the fact that I get to spend it with you guys, too. So um, anyways, we're going to get into a little bond tonight, have a little fun. We'll see if we can get on the board. Uh, I think, what are we at with, uh, GC on this bad boy? Oh, you guys can't see this yet, because I'm not, there it is. Uh, Grand Champion, I got 244 on this, 244 million, so, uh, we'll see what happens tonight. 217 is next, first place, 189, 178, 159, so we got a shot at that. Um, as I play this more and more, I'm getting, getting in sync with some of the shots. Some are still really hard, but, uh, we're gonna kick it over to gameplay, and we will, uh, get going. All right, here we are. Uh, this, again, this is James Bond Pro, Magic Hands. <laughs> All right, uh, so um, one of the things, uh, little things I'm learning as I play more and more, uh, there's an orbit shot from this upper flipper. It's tucked in between that henchman ramp and the entrance to the pop bumpers. Uh, so if you hit that repeatedly, it's a short little orbit. It dumps into the pop bumpers. Usually every once in a while, it will go all the way around. Um, but if you hit that, I want to say it's probably like five times. It lights extra ball, which is collected over here. Uh, these are the villain modes, so you keep repeatedly keep hitting that ramp, uh, and then eventually it lights villain modes. Uh, you hit that side ramp, uh, that's henchmen. Uh, there's some stuff for the Bond, Bond women. Complete pops, spinner, orbits, goldfinger target, DBS, bird one, and jetpack to light this feature on the side loop. Shoot the side loop when flashing for a 1x award for each character. And those are the Bond girls, and that's that little loop right there. But you have to do those other things first, and then I believe then that becomes active. So, um, yeah, uh, another thing to do, uh, is I think this is jetpack multiball. It'll light jetpack multiball. I believe, um, every time it kicks the ball out, it kind of advances. The lock is up there. Um, the, uh, spell specter to build bird one jackpot. So that's the missile jackpot. Um, and that's, I believe going up the back. So awesome shot. Uh, I've had a couple combos on this thing that were pretty awesome. Um, one of my favorite combos is you pop this left ramp, comes back down, uh, pop it up there into the lock shot, around, feed it back in, in, and then over there. So I think I've had a four-way combo on this, which was pretty awesome. Um, shots are tough, though. Uh, so if you're new to this, uh, haven't played it yet, uh, it's not as forgiving as Deadpool. The shots are really fun. Uh, it plays more like Batman with funner shots, if that makes sense, at least in my opinion. So uh, only worth so much, right? But thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I see we got a couple viewers on. Um, I'm just going to play some games, have, have a good time. Um, so thanks for joining me. We'll get going. Let me know if there's any issues with the video, any issues with the sound. I don't always catch it. If anything freezes up, let me know. I'm trying to keep the stream a little more simple in terms of everything that's going in uh, to the Twitch stream. Because uh, when I start running two, three, four, five cameras, um, I mean, this is a gnarly computer that I have. Um, but sometimes it gets a little pissy and something stops working. Like one of the feeds will quit or the audio will go out and I have to reset. So I'm just trying to keep it simple and keep it to playing pinball and hanging out and having fun. So, all right, here we go. And, uh, it was, it was like Christmas around here too, a little bit. Um, let me go ahead and put in my insider connected. Um, I'm really enjoying the insider connected stuff. Um, so what, uh, what's cool is, uh, I ended up picking up so, uh, side note, sold fishtails. So, sold it to a buddy of mine. Um, he really wanted it. Uh, I needed to sell it because I picked up Iron Maiden and Bond. Uh, so, that went out last night. He came and picked it up. Uh, so, kind of sad to see it go. Took a bunch of pictures, but 
Jackie picked it up for me, my buddy Jackie, and uh, he's a great custodian of games. He takes care of his stuff. He has a really nice collection, and I'll get to play it again and see it because we hang out when I'm up in Bristol, and um, he was here last night playing some games too. So Fishtails is out of the house for now. Um, and then so we got Maiden um, and Bond just came in both within the last week, and it was like a mini Christmas around here because uh, I got two sheets of Invisiglass because uh, I put one on this, which I took off Deadpool. Deadpool staying, so I needed one for that. And Maiden, um, Maiden got one too. And I got two Insider Connected kits. So I got one for Iron Maiden Pro and I got one for Elvira Premium. So those are two games I don't have the Insider Connected. And I'm really enjoying it. And it's, you know, I have some friends that come over and play and, and they're scanning their stuff too. So it's fun. Um, so I may do an install tutorial on both of those. Um, I may do an install tutorial on both of those. Uh, but but we'll see. Um, let's see. Oh, that was one of my uh, one of the pinball buddies. So uh, let's see. All right. Sorry about that. Not very professional, but hey, we're just hanging out, having fun, right? Um, all right. Here we go. So I always I don't know if this is a mistake or if I should be doing it differently, but I like. I don't know why, but I like to go for the super skill shot. Hold the left flipper, it goes around. And for some reason, I always just want to pop that henchman ramp to get something started. Um, I think the super confidential shot is around the loop and into the scoop over here. Um, it's worth 10 million points. I don't know if it goes up if you get more, but we'll see. Um, also hitting the pops and the rollovers builds towards some other stuff. So it's kind of, you know, it's 50-50, I would say. So I'm going to do it anyways, just because I like practicing this side shot. Because it is, it is a tough one. Let's try it again. There we go. Sweet. Right. Posato, right? Okay. All right, there's that one. Let's get another green. Let's go for that one because that's an easier shot. Over there? Nope. Oh, that could have been bad. Ah. Man, ah. Oh. Big Brother Pinball, what's up? Spyro, what's up? Um, how are you liking Bond so far? I knew going back and forth on how I feel about it. Don't have many games on it with the, uh, yeah. Um, I like it. I, I, I like it. For some reason, I gravitate towards games which are a little more difficult. I love Deadpool, it's just fun. That's my go-to have a fun time game. Even if I play like crap, it's still fun and it's forgiving. Um, this feels like Deadpool. I mean, this feels like dead. The shots feel like Deadpool, right? Fun shots, interesting, different layout. Um, but on a seriousness level, um, it feels like Batman 66. So it'll make you pull your hair out. I'm telling you, this down here is dangerous. The geometry down here is gnarly. It's like Gomez was like, all right, guys, Deadpool was fun. I had a good time. Uh, we're going to do something like that. We're going to make it tougher. So that's my take on it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I do miss my Batman 66 on occasion. Um, so this this kind of fills that void. Um, you know, it's got the cool shots, but it's a little tougher. The modes are not easy to get through in this game, at least for me right now, uh, especially when you're on the henchman shot because you, you pretty much have to feed it up the middle or feed it over here. And it's just such a tough shot. I actually played with the angle on this flipper. Um, so it's sunk back just a little bit like that. If you look at it, um, I actually moved it out. So this side, this side was in line with that. Made the shots worse, so I put it back. Um, but I'm enjoying it, it's fun. I can't wait to see what they do with the code. There's a ton of stuff in there. Um, yeah, it feels like Deadpool's cousin is much more serious. Yeah, me too. Uh, when I picked up Maiden and Bond, uh, my choices were sell Fishtail, my recently restored Fishtails, new play field, all the stuff. I put a ton of work into it. Sell Fishtails or sell Deadpool Premium. And I went back and forth for about three weeks. And from a playability streaming standpoint, um, people coming over and playing, for me, Deadpool was the obvious keeper there. So Deadpool stayed, not going anywhere. Fishtails is gone. Hmm. I am still on the hunt for my Pi Stern Pirates of the Caribbean. That's the other one I really want to spend time with in a home setting. Um, Probably not going to be as difficult as this game, but still fun. Like every once in a while, I remind myself it's okay to play a game 
that, you know, isn't, like some of these are ass kickers. And sometimes I just want to walk down here and have fun. That's kind of why I want a Lord of the Rings long ball times. I know it's not an easy game, but uh, there's a lot in it. And sometimes it's just fun to play and get in the zone. So, um, all right, let's go. Let's get some more shots. Ooh. I am still trying to figure out a surefire way to get into that scoop. Because right now I don't have one. And it's a tough shot. See, it's totally random. That's such a tight little window back there. All right, let's lock it up, lock it up the top. Ugh. So the one shot, I've I've figured out pretty good. So we'll we'll uh, we're not gonna do it. That's what I get. See, it's serious, man. You can't mess around. So backhanding that little orbit right there is a good one to get down because one of the modes you can hit that shot over and over. If you can get to here over and over and just start blowing through it. Um, what was the other mode? They added a new mode. Was it Trouble in Jamaica, maybe? And you just pound away on those drop targets up there. Or no, was it, was it pop bumpers or drop targets? It was one of the two. Um, I think it might have been those drop targets. So that was a fun one. It was a little easier to get through. But dude, the modes in this are not easy to get through. They're tough. Especially when you get those two shots. You get that inside orbit right there and you get that henchman ramp. They're tough, man. I've been stuck where I was on the last stage. I just couldn't hit the shot. And every once in a while, it's over here. That one's not too bad. That henchman mode ramp and that orbit are tough. One ball three, man. Mm. See? Most of the time I get into that scuba scoop, it's, uh... Sounds like something should be in, uh... In, uh, Scooby-Doo. Every time I get in that scuba scoop... There you go, tight. That's a tight little orbit. Um, all right. That was for you, Lance. That was your dead flip for the day. I forget. There's another one, just for you. Happy Valentine's Day, Lance. That was my gift to you. All right, Q's. There's a couple. Q's ring, I think, is in here. There's radioactive reconnaissance, I think, uh, is another mode in there. Let's go up the middle. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go up the middle and try and lock a ball. Okay, and that didn't happen. Uh, see what I'm saying? You gotta be. This is a shooter's game, in my opinion. Big Brother, are those gold bricks above the... Yeah, so the, I made that mod. Um, so I actually have it for sale on Pinsight. Um, it is a laser cut. Um, has bullet holes on it. Um, oh, oh, bird one wants the ball. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, it's got a gold handprint on it. It's a laser cut insert. Um, a gloss black... Oh, my God. Please tell me ball safe still running. trippy i actually i hit that oh come on i hit that shot up there perfect onto that bumper and it popped up um yeah so that's that's a mod i make uh it's a uh, it's a insert there's a laser cut insert that goes inside of the plastic it, it's the exact same shape as the last one um, those are gold uh, 3d printed bricks. I design all my own stuff I don't grab anybody else's designs. I make everything from scratch and there's the gold handprint um, It's gloss black and then bullet holes around it. Uh, so uh, Pin side 35 bucks. I try to keep them. Uh, I try to keep them affordable, you know, so this one um, My got my roof mod is 45 bucks. So this one's 35 um, So and I actually did a little tweaking to design to try and make it, you know, make it even stronger uh, 
is I, I try to over engineer things just a little bit so they're beefy. Uh, nothing drives me nuts more. I bought a couple signs and stuff, uh, put them in games, they get hit with a pinball and do they're broken. And it's like I paid 25 bucks for that. Like, it should last a little longer. Um, but yeah, thanks for the feedback. I really like it. It's cool. I, I'm working on some other stuff. I got some ideas. I have a really cool idea for something I want to make on this. I just got to figure out um, where I can place it, but I think it'd be really cool. Um, that's my favorite shot in this game. That's the one everybody talks about it, but it's just satisfying. Oh, that was almost a five-way combo. See? That thing's crazy. Squalito! What's up, man? How you doing? Happy Valentine's Day to all the viewers out there. Um, if you didn't hear me earlier, I uh, I asked the missus. I said, hey, uh, what, uh, you got, we doing anything tonight? What's going on? She said, nothing. I said, okay. I said, do you want to hang out and do something together? Or are you going to be asleep on the couch at 8.30 like normal night? And she was like, uh, I'm probably going to be asleep at 8.30. So my response was, so you're telling me I should stream? She was like, yeah, probably. Um, hmm. Oh, man. Hey, Kaiser. Hey, all. Uh, of all the pros versus premiums, do you think this pin uh, loses the least on a pro? Um, you talking about in terms of value, like resale value? Uh, the Kaiser. Kaiser. Um, you think this pin loses the least on a pro? Or were you talking about gameplay? Because this thing's a little mean. Um, no features. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, you know what? Um, you have the tower lock, which is cool. I like it. It's kind of. I think it's kind of cool. Um, you have the jetpack. I don't know if there's. I don't know if there's anything. Oh, you have the under the scuba. It's like a clear one, and then it lights up from the bottom. You can see something. I don't. I don't know if I'm missing anything else on there. Um, but to me, Godzilla, Godzilla Pro is awesome. Godzilla Premium is even more awesome. Totally worth the upgrade on Godzilla uh, Premium. On on James Bond, I haven't played a premium yet, um, but I'm you know that kind of stuff. I for me mentally, I don't know if it's there. Um, there's some where like Walking Dead, I love the pro. Just get the pro. Ghostbusters, pro works great. Um, so those games. Those games, I, I don't feel like I'm missing much. Um, I have to, I'll have to play a Bond Premium to see if I, I'm really missing that much. Um, oh. oh, thank you. That was nice. Wasn't expecting that. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not, I've been, I've been getting more premium games lately because I've enjoyed the features. Like I'm, I'm starting to learn when you have drop targets on the side, okay. Who's this? Odd job. Okay, so I've beat Odd Job before. So this one I know is beatable for me. See, now I can't hit that orbit when I need it. Come on, give me the ball. There we go. New follower. Well, thank you for the follow. Um, I will check that in just a second. Uh, up the middle. Oh, please tell me triple jackpot. Dude, what did I do there? Oh, did I start uh, jetpack multi ball? I don't even remember what ball I'm on right now, to be honest. Uh, oh, 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 that almost went in the scoop in a way I never intended. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Did I missed my window. Dang it! Missed my window. <laughs> Not bad, Jetpack Multi Ball. Odd job is over. Dude, the timers on this thing don't screw around, and it is not easy to get through modes. There's a couple that aren't too bad, but a lot of them are tough, man. Um, oh, this is danger. That is the most dangerous drain in this game. Oh, jeez, dude. It's mean. Um, yeah, when that ball goes in there, there's a, like a little cutout. There's a little thing back there. When it comes back down, it stops the ball momentarily and it slowly comes out. I have my game at seven degrees. If you don't nudge coming off that rail, it's gone. It's like a, it's like a dead drop out of the Willy Wonka pop bumpers. 
Um, favorite stern at the moment. You know what I'm going to say. Um, it's a tie between Godzilla and Elvira. Here's what kills me is I love Elvira. I love that game. Um, I love the modes on it. Love the content right up my alley. Um, Godzilla, fantastic. Um, if I didn't have, like growing up, I used to watch Elvira when I was a kid on TV with my parents. So if that wasn't burned in the back of my brain as a kid, I would probably say that Godzilla Premium is my favorite game. It's one of my, it, those two are my t two of my most favorite Sterns I've ever owned. And they aren't going anywhere. Um, they are not going anywhere uh, until uh, they absolutely have to. I'll put it that way. So, you know, again, at the end of the day, uh, if I need to sell them, something's going on. I will absolutely do it, and I won't be sad about it. Um, but those are the two that I would get rid of last if I had to get rid of something. So lock it up the middle. Ooh, God, this thing's quick, man. Yeah, Godzilla's just so good. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, it's tough to compare it to other games. It's just loaded with stuff. And the difference, the Pro, it shoots great. Pro's an awesome game. Um, it's one. That's one of the games where I feel like if, you, if it's in your price range and you can swing it. Oh, dude, the lights went out. Like, ball save was lit. Did I have that ball save lit? Um... But yeah, if you can go, if you can get the premium, it's worth extra money. There's some games where I don't feel like it is. I had a Deadpool Pro, which I thought was great, but getting that disco loops and getting the drop targets instead of stand-ups, I really like the drops. Um, and then you get a little powder coating and you know a little other stuff. But um, yeah, Deadpool's one I, I I like the premium on it. Um, Metallica. Uh, you know, premium. Those games have skyrocketed, but God, the hammer is so sparky and the hammer in that game. Oh, it's loaded. It is loaded with toys. The premium and LE Metallica. Um, I had a pro and I loved it, but man, when that ball stops there and that hammer just comes down, it bangs into the play field. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I got an issue in my flippers. The screw to tighten them up is stuck. Any idea how to fix that? Um, okay, so that would be the, yeah, that, what, yeah, that's a, yeah, I don't know, probably the best way is, the best way to, to fix that, um, if it's stripped out in there, um, tighten them up is stuck, any idea how to, yeah, the best thing I would say is, you know, and you gotta be careful with it, but if you use a pair of, like, needle nose vice grips, um, just try and back it out but those are really tough is um you know sometimes what you can try too because i think that's an allen key try an allen key with really long handle um see if that'll work but if it's stripped out in there uh, that's a that's a tough one um you know you might end up having to uh yeah that's tough because you can't even take the plate off <laughs> yeah it's an allen screw um yeah, on that one, um, is it stripped out in there? If it's stripped out, then like the only way you're really gonna be able to get that out easily, and not even easily, is a needle needle nose vice grips and backing it out. And at that point, you're gonna wanna put a new, uh, new screw in there. You're gonna trash the old one. So make sure you have another one um, handy before you do that. Um, yeah, I, I had to, me I messed with the flippers on this one and they're always really tight. Um, the other thing you can try is, is try tightening it and then immediately backing it out. So if it goes past, you might kind of kick it past a little point. If you can't go backwards, try kicking it forward a little and then go backwards. Uh, oh, stripped out. Needle nose vice grips. Um, but you're going to need, once you get that out of there, you're going to have to put a new screw in there, a new Allen screw for it. Because if you... Uh, you try and put that back in there using the vice grips like you're probably going to chew up the outside of the housing eventually you won't be able to get it out at all um i got the new one but it's completely stuck yeah um needle nose vice grips that'd be my that'd be my suggestion i'm trying to think could you if you had to you could drill that out um 
it'd be a little tough. You like, I was thinking like, oh man, what if you had to drill one of those out? Like, if you actually had to drill it out. Um, there we go, right into a mode. Oh, this is the one I like. This is the one with uh, pop bumpers, I think. See the green up there? But yeah, drilling it out, like I would wrap everything that's not gonna be drilled in something protective. That way you don't accidentally snag a wire with a drill. Put something below it to catch all the shavings so you don't have the metal shavings. Um, if you slide the play field out and you can do it with the play field slid out, um, like even just on the brackets, that would, uh, that would be good too. Oh. Okay. Mm. Okay, what's next? Oh, that was tough. You guys see that? Oh, get in there. Oh, come on. No. Oh. Oh, here it is. There it is. You gotta nudge it or it's gone, man. You'll be sorry if you don't nudge that one. Okay, we're getting close. Oh. Oh, thank you, ball save. Oh, I beat it. Did I beat it? Sweet! That's a new one for me, I think. I don't think I beat that mode yet. Assuming I beat it, I think I beat it. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Um, sweet, I beat it, nice. Give me one sec, I'll show you. All right, so these are, these are needle nose vice grips. Okay, so basically what you do so you close it, you turn this to about the size of the bolt. You turn this little screw down here to about the size of the bolt, just maybe a little bit smaller than that. Um, let me hit this button. But then you go in there, once you have it set and you squeeze it, it will latch on super tight. It'll squeeze that, that bolt really, really tight. And then you can, you can try and move it and break it free. I'm not guaranteeing it'll work, but this is probably your best bet at this point if you can't, if it's stripped out, uh, other than drilling it out. And when you're ready to release it, uh, down here, this little lever, you just pinch it and it'll loosen up. So, and then you'll have to reposition it, squeeze it, just till you can break it free and get it out of there. So these are needle nose vice grips, um, you know, long, skinny, skinny ends. So I actually use those frequently on, on uh, nuts and bolts that are like, you know, stuck. You could try needle nose pliers, but the thing is with this, it uses leverage to lock it so it doesn't come loose. With the pliers, it's only gonna be as strong as your hand. You might be able to do it, but I think it's gonna be tough. This, you can get them super tight to where it, like you can barely squeeze it closed. And man, it's on there. Um, so, all right, so we, at least we beat a mode. I haven't beat that mode yet. Um, what's interesting on like, on certain games, like uh, on Gomez's last game, like Deadpool, I keep looking for like a kill shot. I keep looking for that shot I'm supposed to hit to like kill, like finish out the mode, but um, it doesn't, so far it doesn't seem like they really have those. You just kind of hit the right number of shots where they tell you to hit and you're good. So, oof. All right, Whew. let's get this ramp over here. Uh, ah. Don't. I have not figured out how to consistently get the ball in that scoop. It's like, I'm looking for like tricks. Like, is there like a post I should be hitting? Um, no, not where I wanted to go. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this game, uh, this game, you like Deadpool, I can play on the fly. This game, there we go. Uh, this game, 
I find you got to trap up. Disco Volant. One of the things I see, like right now, look, that shot is over by the scuba. Such a hard shot to get into. See? God. See, like right now, I can't do anything right now until I hit that scoop. And that's when this game becomes really hard for me. Like I can't... See? I got nothing right now until I hit that damn scoop. And I haven't figured out the best way to get that. I've tried a lot. It's a tough shot, Gomez. I like it, but it's tough. Yeah. See? That was like 45 seconds of me not being able to hit that shot. I've tried hitting from the right flip. Hold down the left flipper to block it. Uh, and then close it. Yeah, I've been trying to get the timing down on that. I can't get it. And usually when I do, when I release it, it's coming back, but it's hitting off that pad and rolling out just slightly. It's a hard shot. I've been messing with that. Uh, I've been having good luck holding the uh, left flipper up while shooting the left scoop. Yeah, maybe I just need to adjust my shot down here so it bounces with a different trajectory. But yeah, it's a tough one. I haven't... I like to find out, like I usually will figure out where on the flippers different things are. That one I'm struggling with right now. Huh. See? It, when I hit it, it's usually random. What do we got? Q branch lift. Oh, I didn't hit the target up there. So that tank target, I know it has a name, whatever the... Mm. God, I love that shot. Ooh, love it. Let's get a mode started, see if we can bring in Jetpack Multiball. See? Thing's laughing at me right now. It knows. It knows I can't figure it out. See? Whoa. Oh, dude, that was perfect timing. Straight into jetpack multiball. After I drain, I'll take it every day of the week. I don't care if you want to make fun of me for it either. I love it. Oh. Got a little ball save. Thank you very much for that. Oh, there's another one. Ah, uh, no. Come on. Q's ring. All right, there you go. So I need to hit the back half of the flipper. If I hit the end, it'll pop out. If I hit towards the back end, hit the back end. That's the way to do it. Oh, thank you. Mm, come on. Dude, this, this alley right here, I usually hit it randomly. It's so much better to come from this side and backhand it. It'll go around, One even at seven degrees. Follower. Oh, thank you. Aware employee. Thank you for the follow. We had another follower earlier too. Um, let me see who that was. Um, come on. Oh, DeKaiser, thank you for the follow too. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't see it here. Um, yeah, uh, so this is Bond, uh, this is a Bond Pro. 
Uh, this is the .87 code that has stacking with the multi-balls and some bug, bug fixes. A couple new modes too, and I think it sounded like there was a couple more callouts. I am having a lot of fun with this game. Um, I got a lot of different choices to stream down here right now, and uh, I want to play this one again. So I've been spending a lot of time getting comfy with this and seeing how I feel. So it's uh, it's fun. I enjoy it. Um, and you're talking to somebody who's only seen probably five of the Bond movies. So I actually want to, you know, it's kind of like Batman. Like it, it makes me want to go back and watch the movies because it's always a little more fun when you have that reference. You know, you got that reference point too. Uh, like Stranger Things. Uh, my wife wasn't a huge fan of it, and then she watched the show and uh, really enjoyed it. She was like, ah, there's this, there's that. So she got that much more into it. So I always think that's cool when it's like, for me, it's funny. The, the pinball machine is the one that would get me to watch the show. You know, I do, I do, uh, I'm a kid of the 80s. So for Bond, like, I was a huge fan of A View to a Kill. That was the Bond movie I remember the most as a kid. Um, and I liked it, you know, I like, I like the whole concept of like trying to, uh, start an earthquake on the San Andreas fault. Like, I'm like, that's cool. That's a, that's a bad guy thing to do, you know? Oh, that was a brutal drain. Do you guys see that? Believe it or not, all I'm trying to do right now is stop this ball. See? I'm telling you, it's dangerous. Yes, View to a I love that. That intro scene to View to a Kill is one of my... Yeah, cheesy, cheesy music video, but... Dude, that intro to the Bond movie with the girls with the body paint spinning around and, like, doing all the, like, you know, skiing and, like... Dude, I love the intro to that movie. One of, the, one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah, cheesy music video, but I still love it. It's just, it's loaded with everything 80s. One new oh. follower. Thank you for the follow. Uh, kinetic, uh, kinetics.co. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when, whenever I'm trying to do like a uh, gentle, gentle slap on the game, I don't know, it started about a month ago. I've been playing pinball like six years. But like, I'm like, I move to the side. It's like I'm trying to like get less force because I can't stop my arms from smacking too hard. So I just I end up do, putting these weird positions on. I don't know how it happened, but it sometimes it works. Christopher Walken is the villain in that one too. Yeah, yep. But up, boom, but up, boom, but up, but up, boom. Yep. What's up, Dalton Pinball? Um, oh, the flying camera really makes it. Yep. Um, Dalton Pinball in the house. How you doing, man? Been a little while. I hope you're doing doing well. Um, thanks for joining tonight. We're getting down with a little Bond Pro with the new code on it. I'm trying to be a lot better too about uh, not wasting not wasting tilts. All right, let me read that in a sec. Yeah, so the pop bumpers up there um, uh, will light different things, which I think is cool. So you get enough hits, you build kind of build up. Hits in the pops. Whew. And if you want to know how cruel Gomez can be, that target right there, when you repeatedly hit it, uh, you get enough hits, it lights the ball save in the out lane. That thing is nasty. So you really got it. Most of the time when I get it, it's kicking out here and it glances it. Or I'll go for it from the left flipper because then it kicks this way. If you go this way, you can end up in a bang bang situation. You want to be in bang bang situation. Um, let's see, uh, what are the hardest turns for you? Um, I would say the Walking Dead was more on the hard side for me. Um, Tron, Tron was more uh, as far as turns go. Don't do it. Uh, Tron, I would say Tron. Let's see, they're they're all board games, I think. Um, Tron, Tron was definitely up there. Uh, Walking Dead was up there. Um, 
I don't know why, but Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was up there too. I just couldn't figure that game out. It was tough. And the minute you thought you had it figured out, the friggin' spinning, the pizza turns on and throws your ball in the drain. Those, those are, to me, those are three of the toughest. People talk about Ghostbusters being mean and nasty. Um, I've gotten used to it. I like it. Um, it's tough. It'll, it'll break your spirit. It'll break your spirit if you let it. Um, but yeah. No, I think that that's probably, um, at least modern Sterns. Yeah, that's probably it. I would say Walking Dead. Um, uh, Batman 66 can be a little tough. Um, but the Walking Dead, just mean, mean drains out of there, mean shots down the middle. Um, really tense, builds a lot of tension in that game. So, uh, that one, Tron, who. Tron's mean. Tron, when it flows, it flows, but man, it'll 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 step on your skull too. Um, yeah, those those are two of the biggest ones for me that were mean. Um, let's see. Uh, this game feels so good. Yeah, four to five combos together and it just starts flowing. Doing good. Was thinking about streaming tonight, but my foot has been giving me problems today. Yeah, I I coach bat boys basketball. We had a practice, and I'll get out and I'll run the floor with them, teach them stuff. And uh, I jammed my, my pinky, like right here. I did something in here uh, going for a rebound. And uh, the other day I was playing pinball, and so wuss, right? But the other day I was playing pinball, and you, I forget. Somebody, I read something that says if you if you lose your pinky, you lose 75% of the strength in your hand. And I'm like, really? Because uh, it's, you think about it, take your pinky out of the mix. How strong are these fingers? Like, it's insane. So anyways, every time I, was pl I streamed with that, I was playing pinball, and I'm pushing with my pinky finger. So, you know, they don't they don't give out awards for that. But, uh, yeah, I've been there. There's other days where I just don't feel good. And I'm like, my back hurts. I don't want to stream. Um, my back hurts a decent amount. Might stream tomorrow. Uh, who knows? TMNT is a good... Yeah, it's, I'm not saying it's a bad game. It's just tough. I think people expected because it was TMNT. They grew up watching it, kids, cartoons. Um, I don't think they expected it to be as hard as it was. Oh, let's see. Let's see if we can get a combo going here. Woo! Oh, look, right into a uh, ooh, Goldfinger. I got Goldfinger on Valentine's Day. Oh, I was trying to lock a ball up there. Oh, come on, don't. Oh, that's perfect. That works too. Multi-ball in the mode. I'll take it. I don't know if I've ever beat Goldfinger. Insert your own joke wherever you want. It's Valentine's Day. Oh. Uh, come on. Let's make it happen. Woo, that was a lucky shot. You see that? That one pinball hit the other one and it made it go up the ramp. That was pretty gnarly. Let's be friends. Get in. All right, I'm feeling a little bit right now. Let's see if I can keep this going. Got a little bit of the zone going on right now. I'll take it. I beat him, I beat Goldfinger. Oh, we got two in the scoop. <laughs> two in the scoop and one in the shoot. Wow, I'll take that, man. That was a good one. Let's see. Uh. All right, let's keep this going. What do we got? Oh, sweet, we held the bonus too. I think this might be a decent bonus, we'll see. Oh, please. What's that song, please don't go. Please don't go. Mm. No, stay out of the drain. It tried to triple drain on me, you guys see that? Mm, sweet. This is like one of the best uh, bird one multi-balls I think of. Oh, had to say something, see? Sweet. Keep doing it. Oh, stop. All right, let me catch my breath. Holy Toledo. Brooklyn Pim, what's up? Um, yeah, Jurassic Park. Um, 
Oh, you know what I forgot? Iron Maiden. Damn, Iron Maiden. Uh, how did I forget that? That thing's been the bane. That was my first modern pin. I bought it back, so I have it to stream again. This is my original machine. Uh, but the mummy card kills me every time. You know, I can dial everything out. I can't get the mummy. I can't do it. I've played so many games on it. I've only gotten it like two or three times. But uh, Jurassic Park, I enjoy it. I don't find that as tough as like Tron or um, TMNT or, or Walking Dead. Um, I just got her as a new code. Uh, I like it. The stacking is cool. I like the stacking. It helps because the modes are not easy to get through in this game. Uh, they're tough. Uh, some of them are really hard. When you get stuck on this shot or that shot and you can't progress, like you almost, I love having the multi-ball and bringing the multi-ball in because it just makes the mode easier to get through. Like I just beat Goldfinger in the multi-ball. That was the first time I beat him. Um, uh, pretty good. Yeah, for only 25%, no pinky. Um, but yeah, uh, real quick, uh, in case anybody's new to the channel, uh, first time here, uh, I'm Craig with Hurry Up Pinball. Uh, I do instructional videos on YouTube, how to install mods, fix things, various different things, simple stuff, complex stuff. Uh, really, uh, uh, same format for all the videos, good lighting and all that's always important to me. Um, I, I, I try to take a little of the personality out of the voice, so it's just instructions and clear uh, versus streaming, but... Um, I do that, uh, stream on Twitch. I usually stream two to three times a week. Um, the lineup right now, we got Iron Maiden uh, Pro, Mandalorian Premium, Ghostbusters Pro, Godzilla Premium, Bond Pro, Deadpool Premium, Dialed In uh, Standard, um, The Shadow, Guns N' Roses LE, uh, Elvira's House of Horrors Premium, and Twilight Zone. So that's the rotation. So um, I try to get on a couple times a week. Uh, and I also make mods uh, on the pin side uh, shop i have mods uh, i have this mod that i uh, created i have the roof mod and the um, mecha godzilla shield mod on um, godzilla uh, i have two mods uh, with bullets and quote plaques for deadpool um, and then i have stranger things cameras too um, so anyways if you're interested in any of that check it out so that's my spiel that's who i am thanks for joining me tonight happy valentine's day to everybody now i'm gonna shut up and see if i can make something happen because we got a decent game going on right now um, if I was smart, I'd plug away at that little short orbit because once you get enough of those, uh, it lights extra ball at the scoop. Um, extra balls in this game <laughs> come in really handy. Um, yeah, thanks. Deadpool mods are cool. Thank you. Um, is your place stern location verified? Um, yeah. Um, so it's it's logged in. I believe it's logged in. Um, yeah, so in order to set it up, I think uh, you complete it by verifying the... Yeah, so I think I'm... I think I'm verified. I don't know. All I know is the insider stuff works. Uh, yeah, I try to hit that upper left flipper loop all day long. Yeah. Yeah, that one up there. All right. I just had a really good run, and now I feel like it's going to end quickly. I'm going to shoot for that left orbit. What'd I tell you? Ugh. I told you. I said it was going to end bad, didn't I? Hmm. Complete the... Oh. I didn't get to read the rest of that. I want to see what that third achievement was. Yeah, I tried to hit that upper left... Yeah. The upper left one. All right, so that's the best game of the night. 100 million. Um, all right. Let's go again. So, like, I can, I can walk up to... To uh, Deadpool at just just about any time, and at least easily get through like one villain, maybe two, without much trouble at all. Fuck, that's what I'm talking about right there. Do you guys see that? This when it hits just right, it's gone. I have not adjusted my outlane posts, and what's crazy on this game is much as I want to do it, as much as I want to do it, um, I decided when I got this game. Uh, Saran, I know you're probably uh, super busy right now, but Saran's in the chat all the time. Um, he was always telling me like he's not too far from Logan's Arcade. And he said a lot of those games, really tight tilts, seven degrees. And he's like, that's how he sets his games at home. So when he goes over there and plays, he can kind of be competitive, try and get on the board. And I thought, you know what? Like he keeps, he kept saying it. I'm like, you know what? Why not? It's new pin. Never played it before. Let's just set it up at seven, and I won't know what I'm missing at like six five or six 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 seven. Um, so I set it up at seven degrees. 
and uh, left the outlanes where they were. I, us I used to put them at 6.5 to 6.7 uh, for my games, and I put the outlanes on the easiest one. That was the two things I did to my games. Everything else stayed the same. Uh, with this one, I left the post where they were, which is in the most difficult place that you could put either of them next to taking them out. Um, and I set it at seven degrees. And when Maiden came back in the house, I set it at seven degrees. So um, I might start transitioning some of the other games over to seven. Um, but it would be interesting to see if my wife notices, because she plays a lot of pinball too. Uh, but I can tell it's way the hell zippier at seven. And some of these shots feel better at seven than they do at six and a half. But it might make me sad on the games that I've had at like six, 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 seven for a long time. Um, when I go to play them and I just can't, I can't hit the shots that I've gotten figured, I have figured out. Woo, there we go, henchman, Fiona Volpe. So there and there, it kind of goes back and forth. All right, right ramp. Orbit. That's the tight one. Don't do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Backhand right there. There it is. That shot you want to get. So this is the tough part right here. Ready? I got to hit that shot. I got to hit that shot up the middle. Oh, come on. I can't do anything till I hit that shot. This is what kills me on these modes, man. Even when you have a lot of time, they're not they're not easy shots. See? And then you've got to hit the shot into that shot up the middle if you want to get another shot at it. You're like staging the shot. There we go. Oh, now it's on the easiest shot in the game. And now watch. Oh my god! Oh! Ugh, I was getting there. I had a couple more shots and I've been done. I'm telling you, this game is mean. I like it. There's a lot still to integrate. So, somebody got into Pinball Browser. I think looked at a lot of the stuff that was on the SD cards. Um, and, uh, yeah, they found a lot of cool stuff. Gadgets, some modes that haven't been incorporated yet, I think. Or at least images from them that aren't in the game yet. So... There's going to be a lot of stuff in this game. If you look at the inserts on this, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, there's twelve modes right there. Then you got the Bond Girl stuff, and you have the right now you have the um, Bird One Multi Ball, and the uh, let's see Bird One Multi Ball and Jetpack Multi Ball. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm like. There's a lot of stuff in this game. You look at the inserts on here, and then you have all the gadgets right here. Uh, the Spectre weapons, sorry. Those aren't, to my knowledge, those aren't even incorporated in this game yet. At least I don't think they are. Um, but uh, at least some of them. But yeah, there's this the game. This game's going to have a lot. Easiest shot uh, equals spinner block. Yeah, that, yeah, right there. That's the one. Um, what's up, Double Flip? Um, all right. Cool, let's, uh, I just, I'd like to blow this game up at least once tonight. God dang, blowing me up. I figure, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Maybe this thing will be a little nice to me. That game needed to end. Hmm. Yeah. On the gadgets, it's also possible um, uh, start countdown modes. Yeah, it's also possible that I've missed them uh, just playing through a mode if, if it's come up. But I saw the pictures of the gadgets. I've never seen them on screen yet. Um, Spell Spectre, then you have to hit the gold bar target, I believe. Um, oh, is that? Yeah, the gold bar target's right there. Um, yeah. Um, it's weird because I'm like, I usually don't go on and read through the rules unless there's something that I just really don't, I can't figure out what the heck to do, and it's, it's bugging me. Um, okay, let's try this. 
Come on. Dang it. Okay. Backhand this. Oh, I didn't hit the shot. Oh, oh! I got a double ding for that one. I was like, I'm gonna just save this. I think I got time. I'm telling you, man, some of these shots, they're tough, man. Let's try backhand it again. Oh, I'm all gun shy now. I'm all gun shy. I almost took myself out last time. This mode's gonna time out on me. The timers are pretty lengthy right now, and I think it's because they know that those shots are tough. Some of them are tough to get to. There we go. Goodness, get me out of that mode. I wanna be out of this mode. Ugh. Nice. Oh my God, this one takes forever. I think there's a strategy to this, like, if you're hitting certain shots, it might go quicker. You progress, oh, it's over. That's over with. Bird one multi-ball. Oh, extra ball. Cool, we're on ball one, I'll take it. Uh, the bathosphere, swim with the shark, setter are the specter weapon modes. Basically just hurry up shots right in, gotcha. I wonder what they'll do with them, if it's just the hurry ups or... Um, yeah, but I'm enjoying this. Um, I actually, I tried to get one um, when they first came out. Like, I, it might have been like November, maybe. Was it November? When they started, the pros started shipping, but I'm not a location, so um, that was pretty much impossible um, for me to get one, but um, I'm glad. I thought about it. I wanted something new to stream. I've, I've been streaming some stuff for a while, some of the same stuff. And uh, other than the games on, oh my God, dude, you gotta give all those back. They were all flashing down here. Don't take that away. Thank you. Give them all back, slowly. Get me in the pops, build the pops, come on. Ooh, we fished that one out of the drain, didn't we? Oh my God. Mm. Angry. I had ball save lit. Good lord, did that say 46 more for extra ball? That first one might be easy to get to, but that second one ain't no joke. They want that many of them? Oh. What do you got, Q's ring? All I saw was I swear I'm getting the worst double drains. I just had two nasty drains in a row right there. Oh, we're still in Q's ring. Nice. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, I just need to get that block. Oh, I'm rushing it. This is not gonna end well, I already know it. 
Gonna regret this. Oh, come on. Oh my god, it's like I can't. I swear I get the worst double drains on this layout. Fun but punishing. Yes, that is a very accurate description of this game. Um, it has the fun shots like Deadpool, but it's got the meanness of Batman on it. Sweet. Extra ball? Or was that just flashing just to be pretty? exciting oh what do we got oh we got the uh, bond girl splashing up there too oh i should have should have started a mode at least try to start a mode oh my god that was a double drain you see that Get in there. Oh, Dude. yeah, it went in. Follower. Thank you for the follow. Uh, the tilt, the twisted tilt, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate you, you guys hanging out tonight. Um, yeah, 007 drain, seriously. Oh, there we go. Mm. Woo. Come on. Oh, I'm close to... I'm close to this super jackpot shot, I think. Did I just get it? Yep, super jackpot. We start another level. Oh, I think we started another level. Sweet. Oh no, that's the, the danger drain. See? God, I hate that one. It's so nasty. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I gotta stop doing this. I'm gonna get myself in trouble here. I was actually nudging the machine a little bit to try and get those to, uh... Super Pops. Ooh, get up there. Oh, God, thank you, ball save. Oh, dude, this one, I don't want to lose this ball, man. This is going good. All right, give me a breather. I'm going to take a breather. Mm, I'm going to regret that. I forgot I already had two. Oh. God. I forgot I had two, man. I was like, oh, I can sneak this one in real quick. I would probably get a double out of it. I won't get a triple. I got it, but I didn't. Right? Oh, man. So what's everybody playing these days? Like, uh, what's everybody excited about? Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what Elwin's next game is. I'm also... Hopefully, fingers crossed, I've been chasing a stern Pirates of the Caribbean because I just love playing that game. Um, and I want to play it in a home setting for a while. So I'm chasing one right now locally. I, I hope it works out. Um, but, you know, you can't win them all. But, yeah, I got a range I want for that. I want to I, I want to pay for that just where I'm comfy. So hopefully it'll work out, but we'll see. I'd love to get that one in here too, have something a little different. Uh, yeah, Pinhead's Arcade. Yep. Yeah, I saw that one on there. I did. Um, just picked up a Jurassic Park, uh, loving it so far. Yeah, I like Jurassic Park. Um, it was one of the first games I ever streamed and I didn't, I would barely nudge, you know, like my game isn't anywhere near it is now. It was almost three years ago, I think. Um, so I wouldn't mind having one. I don't need to, I don't know if I need to own it again, but I wouldn't mind 
swap it with one of the one of my buddies and get one in here for a couple months just to play it and see how much different it is now that I've I feel like I've gotten better. Maybe I've gotten worse. I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, got Godzilla and JP at home. TMNT coming in a few weeks. Yeah, TMNT is a, an ass kicker, man. It's fun. I wish I was better at that game, and I love the artwork. Um, another awesome zombie Yeti job, in my opinion. Um, I'm looking for a Beatles for my um, music lineup. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. What area of the country are you in, Major Drain? I'm always curious. Every once in a while, I find somebody who's like, oh, you live, you live like 20 minutes from me. Brutal. Big Lebowski. Yeah, that's another one. I I I kind of had that thought for a little while. I was entertaining the idea of maybe picking up a Lebowski to stream. Um, but that would have required me to sell a game and come out of pocket too. And I had a chance to pick up two games for for less than what I would have paid for a Lebowski. And I I decided to go that route instead. But uh, Lebowski's one. Um, Lebowski's one of those games I'd I I'd, I'd like to spend some time with. You should get some sort of U-turn award for that, but you don't. All right, where are we at? Ugh. Yeah, integration's off the charts. Yeah, and that's what I love. I love it when they just nail the integration with games. Rick and Morty was insane from the integration standpoint. Just off the charts. That's what I, I kind of compare everything to. Regardless of whether or not you like the shots, the, the way the theme was integrated with everything was really fun. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was gone as soon as I hit that red post. Gomez. <laughs> uh, Bay Area, California. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I don't, know, uh, I don't know anybody out that way that's got a Beatles. I know one or two people here that have one. Uh, my neighbor got a Lebowski a game is really fun. Yep, uh, old school feel but deeper rules. Um, really is great theme integration. Yeah, it makes me want to watch the movie every time I play it. Yeah. Um, oh man, every time I think about that, I'm like, you know, he's just so chill. Like, and everybody's messing with him. Just leave him alone, man. And I just love Donnie and John Goodman. I mean, it's just like, it's like he couldn't control anything, but Donnie was the one thing that he could like just take everything out on. Hmm. I enjoyed that movie. I didn't see it. The first time I watched it was probably six, seven years ago, which is interesting to me because I'm a movie. I love watching movies, and I somehow didn't even watch that one. Um, yeah, this makes me want to watch the movies too, um, just so I understand that much more about what's happening when the modes go on and the gadgets and all that sort of fun stuff. Oh my god, I juggled that into the drain. Oh, I was having a good game too. Idiot. What ball are we on? Now we're on ball three. See, I wasted those last two. One or two, yeah. All right, here we go. Woo! All right. Oh, extra ball's lit. We need to get that. Okay, henchman, uh, Mr. Osato. Oh, I'm going to go after that lock up there so I can try and bring in the... Uh, Oh, thank you, ball save. That was a sidestep for the death save, in case you were wondering. I was, that was about to happen. Whoa, that was trippy. God, this ball has some crazy spin on it. Please don't. Please don't. Let's be friends. Go in there. Oh, you're not going to be nice to me, are you? Oh, I was really hoping that was my third. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Go in, go in. Sweet. Most of the time when I get that, it's by accident when I get that scuba scoop. All right, here we go. All right. 
advanced spinner. Ooh. Oh, that was scary. Get up there. Mm. Ooh. There's your five-way combo. Oh, that was pretty awesome. That felt good. Not gonna lie. I felt like I might know how to play pinball there for a second. But I can't ever say anything positive here, because if I do, everything goes away, right? That's how it works, pinball. You say something positive, then the world comes to an end. The pinball world. All right, come on, let me get through this. Oh! Start a multi-ball, damn it, come on. Don't do it, don't you do it. Oh, come on. How many more? Oh! Oh! Dude, that's the furthest I've ever got into that mode. I'm gonna make a mistake now, I know it. Oh. Okay, so we're on we're on track to have a decent game here. Not gonna mess with that, don't care. Get up the middle. Mmm. Mmm. Come on. drain me. Oh, wow. That was cool. I split the balls. I don't know if you guys saw that. I split the balls on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. More points. I want more points. More points. All right. Everybody hang. Oh, come on. You give me super. Oh, I got a super. I snuck in a snooper on that one. See, that's when I think, when I know this game, to me this game, that's when I know a game is actually really fun. When you start getting into stuff like that where there's tons of stuff going on, um, hitting that missile shot, like, you get the wall down, then you hit the missile, you get the super jackpot, I'm like, yep. Like, it's kind of cool, man, it's fun. Um, I started jet. I think I started jetpack, right? I think I started jetpack in the middle of. Uh, wow, that was two back to back. Oh, craziness! Mm. Oh, you got to be careful, man. That uh. We got a DC game. Oh, sweet. I beat radioactive reconnaissance. I haven't done that either. This is a fun one. I'm digging this new code. All right, what do we got? What's the award? Bonus multiplier. What are we gonna do now? Let's try and start another one. Ooh, scary, that's scary stuff. Ooh, power plant. Come on, keep getting them. Back in the pops. Oh, there we go. Come on, be nice. That's what I wanna do. Sweet, Largo. The Disco Volante. Working on the Disco Volante right now. This one's hard. Okay, 
Sweet. Finally did that right. That's hard. Don't make me go over there again. That was for you, Lance. That was your fault, Lance. Oh, wow. I got another ball. Dude, that was a great game. I'm feeling good about this one. Hmm. Again, thank you for hanging out. Oh, that's a great bonus, too. Look at that. I beat the Q branch stuff. Um, yeah, but thank you for hanging out tonight. Um, I typically try and uh, stream two to three nights a week. Uh, got a pretty solid lineup of games in the rotation. Um, so, again, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, and if you like what you see, hit the, uh, you know, hit the follow button. And then on YouTube, if you like the videos and all that sort of stuff, I back up a lot of my streams there uh, for a period of time as well. I've had a lot of games. I think I've had about 35 of the top 50 pin site games in the last six years, kind of in and out. Um, so I've, I've spent a lot of time on all of them. So if you're thinking about uh, getting a game or you just want some advice or the pros and cons of, of the game, you know, I'll, I'll shoot everybody straight on that one. Um, but uh, but yeah, uh, shoot me an email at hurryuppinball at gmail.com. That's where, I, that's where I can be found most of the time. Oh, come on. That's mm. such a fun shot. I love it. Let's do it again. No, let's lock one up. Yeah, I think we have another mode ready. We have another mode ready. Please don't lose the ball. All right, let's get a little post pass. That is not what I meant to do. Uh, danger. All right, we're in the threes. All right, here we go. Oh, how many more do I need to start a mode? Go, sweet. Another one. There we go. This is the most I've played in one game. I haven't played more than this in one game yet. <sighs> Trouble in Jamaica. Please get me, please get me over the, oh man. All right, there it is, GC. All right, throw it in chat, who wants it? Throw it in here, we'll get you in here. First one in chat. DZN, Pinheads Arcade, you got it. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Let's see. D. I hate it when I go the wrong way and I'm like, oh, it would have been shorter to go the other way. Thanks, Brooklyn Pin. Yeah, that was the best game I've played on this. Um, we'll see if we can get a couple more in. Um, we'll get a couple, maybe see if we get one or two more games in and then we'll see who's playing pinball tonight. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Look at that. I love it. Pinheads Arcade. You're in there. We'll see how long that stands. 50 combos. Uh, yeah, I beat a couple modes on that, which was pretty awesome. I'd never beat them before. Radioactive Reconnaissance, I never beat. So, telling you, it, it's, people are talking about being worried on the code. I'm like, this is still super early, in my opinion. And it's fun. It's already fun. I think it's going to get better. Um, I don't think it's bad now. Um, uh, but you, you definitely have to learn the shots. I still, I still don't have that one. I gotta spend some time on that damn thing. It's gonna drive me nuts because it's an important shot, especially when you get into, uh, when you get into modes. That shot's really important. Don't, don't. We're into jetpack multiball already. Wow. I tell you, man, this game will punish you for making mistakes. All right. 
Tell you, man. Oh, get up the middle. Damn it. Did they give it to me? Ooh. You know what I really, what I think is really cool on this game? Um, I'll tell you in a second. Is that so the the three drop targets that are up there on the side of the missile? Okay. Um, if you knock one of them down, if you knock one of them down and the ball goes around that circle, it can come out from there. So if you have two of them down, um, it's not going to feed back to that flipper. So it, I like it because it kind of it definitely changes the gameplay a little bit. Fudge, fudge, fudge is the right word for that. Uh, Major Drain Pinball, nice. Uh, this is where the code should have been at release. Yeah, I would agree. I think you would probably have more people. You know, if, now that I think about it, if I got my game when it first came out, the first pros that were out, it was like November, late November or something like that. If I had got my game then and the code was at like 0.8, there was no stacking and I had to wait like three months, I could see why people are a little feisty with the code. Um, it's interesting though, because we want these new pins. We want the new releases. We want all the new stuff and everybody's trying to accommodate for that. So I'm thinking about this from a business standpoint. You know, do you delay stuff when there's massive demand um, for games? Do you delay stuff until the code is perfect? Because think about some of these games. It might take six months post-release. Like, how's everybody going to feel if they're like, hey, uh, there's no stern releases for eight months. Like, people are going to get feisty. And, like, it, that invites uh, that invites competition, I think. So that's my, my take on it. I don't know why I'm getting into that. But I was thinking about that. Like, I could see where I haven't had this long. And they already added stack. And I've only had the game, like, a week. And I'm like, oh, cool. But somebody who's been waiting three or four months, I could understand the frustration on that for sure. Um, yeah, favorite shot on this machine. Favorite shot. Um, it's got to be that left orbit. It's the left orbit to the back of the ramp. Because when you nail it, it doesn't always go up. So when you nail it, when you do get it, it feels good. But the combos, it's combos, man. Hitting that shot and then hitting this shot and then popping it back up there and looping it. Oh, fun stuff um yeah when i got mine and then i just had to kind of let it wait until more updates yeah i can understand big brother why that would be frustrating basement collectibles what's going on uh thanks for joining us always good to see you man um man or woman shouldn't assume right uh evening guys do you uh do you notice a lot more video clips in the new code uh there's some new there's some new modes in here i think there was a couple new call outs that i heard um stackings in here now um so yeah, I I like I felt like the code update was pretty good. Hmm. Let's see. Um, I wasn't uh, even playing till. Yeah, 0.87 dropped. Yeah, that was just over the weekend, I think. Godzilla had a ton of big updates, made it fun uh, to be in on it early. Bond hasn't been the same way so far. Yeah, yeah. Bond, uh, like I got my Godzilla in the first run of premiums when they came out, and uh, it was fun then. But I did bottom out. It's the first time I. Can I say bottomed out on Valentine's Day? <laughs> that was the first time I bottomed out on the code. Like I played through it and I played, um, I played through it and I beat the Exilians and nothing else was in the game. So all I could do is just start, um, I played played through all the stuff up to that point. So all I could do was start building a Godzilla multi-ball or Mecha Godzilla multi-ball over and over. I couldn't do anything else. That was the first time I've ever done that in a game. And starting on Keith Elwin's Iron Maiden and getting my ass kicked on that for years and then getting one of his games, I had that little feeling of like, yeah, I did it. I did it. Did it all. Till the next code update. <laughs> so haven't been to King of the Monsters. Um, haven't gotten close since since that game where I beat the Exilian. So um, yeah, there's something to go for on that. And and I like it, but one there was a lot of code updates on that game. Follower. follower. Darkstar, uh, O-T-B-C-O, O-T-B-C-O, Darkstar. I'm just going to call you Darkstar. I love that. Um, let's see. Uh, game is going to be a great one. Thanks. I, I do, uh, David, I think so too. I think this is going to be a really fun game. Um, once everything's said and done, how is Bond right now? I played the game with old code. Uh, yeah, the new code we were just talking about, the new code, um, stacking in there. Uh, I think they added two more modes. Um, 
I think there were some additional callouts. Uh, versus, I got my game and it had .83 on it, I think. And within within a week, I got an update. So, um, but I'm I'm enjoying it. It's fun. I'll tell you, they they need to. The shots are tough, though. I think that ultimately, like I have a minute, I have a minute ten to finish this mode. And like, God, I keep trying to go for that stupid orbit. Come on. All right. See, this is tough. See? Here we go. It's the only surefire way for me to hit that orbit shot, because it's tight. Like, there you go. And then there's a couple shots that are open, and if you don't hit those in time, then guess what happens? you got to go back to that original shot. So, it's tough. The question is, do you have enough time? To do it to get through it before the timer runs out dude it's tough some of these i'm like dude you need to give me more time man i need more time man see like right now we're wasting time oh i got double scoring going and i can't hit this stupid oh got it get it oh One more shot to where? Oh, oh, God, dude, I haven't beat that one yet. It's a last shot. Oh, man, all I needed was that shot. You guys can't see the arrow because it's under the ramp, but that shot was flashing. So if you, if you, the, here's one of my complaints on this game, right? I've been talking about how much fun I'm having, everything's cool. Here's one of my complaints on this game. I'm 6'1", 6'1", 6 6 6'2", depends how, how late in the day it is. Um, but I had the same issue on Batman. Um, this bracket right here where the ball kicks out completely blocks the arrow on that ramp for me. So that's a, a flashing insert. So if you're shorter, it's, it's right in the middle of it. I can kind of, when I play, I can barely see it. But if you're this high, like, it's hard to see. So on Batman 66, you had the crane, and it would constantly block one of the shots. Like, one of the shots over there was, no, it was, something on the right-hand side was always blocked. It was really hard to see. Um, but yeah, on this one, that's my one, one of my complaints. It's hard to see that target uh, right there, that insert for me, because of that big metal bracket for the Aston Martin. So I will say that. That's one of the things I wish I, I would change. Um... Do you like this? I do. I like the layout, uh, Darkstar. I like the layout. It's a cross between Batman 66 and Deadpool. Um, it's got the quirky shots of Deadpool, kind of funky layout, which is refreshing, you know, um, after a lot of the other games that have been coming out. Um, I like it, um, but it's mean. It's a mean version of Deadpool. That's my best way to describe it. Uh, what games do I have? Uh, so right now, the games I'm streaming, um, right now I have Iron Maiden Pro, Mandalorian Premium, Ghostbusters Pro, Godzilla Premium, Bond Pro, Deadpool Premium, Dialed In Standard, um, The Shadow, uh, Guns N' Roses LE, uh, Elvira's House of Horrors Premium, and Twilight Zone. Uh, two of those, uh, actually four of those, uh, are loners. They are not mine. That'd be Mandalorian and Dialed In. And then um, Twilight Zone and The Shadow behind me uh, belong to a buddy of mine. So, uh, you know, I'm not the best babysitter unless they're pinball machines. I'll leave it at that. So... All right, here we go. We're ball three. This is not the best way to follow up that game. Oh my god! It's not the best way to follow up that game I just had, the GC game. But um, I always joke. Uh, my uh, ooh. Izzy Pinball is one of my good buddies. I usually, um, you know, he's been a little under the weather lately, but he usually streams. He's on the West Coast, so um, I usually will. Uh, will uh will raid him he is a bat i'd be interested to see his take on this game because his favorite one of his all-time favorite games is batman 66 and he absolutely murders that game when it comes to scoring i think his gc's just under uh 300 just under 300 billion um just bonkers right 
Um, so I'd be interested to see how he would do on this game. Because um, it does remind me a lot of Batman, too. Uh, let's see. Get up there. All right. Ball 3 Magic. Uh, yeah, if you're new to this channel, too, that's the other thing about me. Uh, Ball 3 Magic. Uh, I don't restart games. Uh, and my buddies give me crap about that sometime when, see, like, Ball 1's just trash. Some of my best games I've ever played have been on Ball 3. So, I don't ever restart. So if I start out shitty, that's my punishment. I have to keep playing. Hmm. Alright, so just placed an order for uh, Elvira, Godzilla Premium, and Deadpool. Do you think Deadpool Premium is worth it compared to the Pro? Um, yes. I'll tell you why. I've had both. I had the Pro. I'm going to start this up. I had the Pro. So Insider doesn't log me out. I had the Pro. Um, I liked it. It was really fun. Um, then I sold it. And I went a long time without it. Ben uh, went to the auction and picked up a Deadpool Premium. For an amazing price like amazing um uh brought it back to his One house new had it up there follower um dave uh, uh dave digger 356 thank you for the follow thanks for hanging out um yeah on deadpool so i had the pro uh and then i played ben's the ben's premium i sold it uh, i played ben's premium about two years later and it shot so good it to me it was super smooth everything was dialed in and I gotta check out the disco loops. And that shot where it feeds back to the diverter and feeds right back to the flipper, it makes that game flow, especially in the disco modes, because you're just winging that shot around and the, the balls, the, you know, the glitter balls going, the music is playing, it's awesome. That's an experience when you start nailing that. Um, I like the drop targets instead of the stand-up targets on the side, because there's four on each side. I like having the drop targets there instead of the stand-up targets. Um, and then uh let's see you got the disco ball you got the, yeah you got the disco ball too the disco ball is cool as shit um so when it comes on it's fun so on deadpool um if you can swing it i would say get a premium uh godzilla same thing if you can swing it get a premium that premium the difference between deadpool pro and premium and godzilla pro and premium as far as extra stuff godzilla premium has a lot more in it so i would definitely encourage you to go the premium route if you can on that one um, Elvira, Elvira's Elvira, I think, unless you're uh, going out and tracking down someone's LE or SLE, um, you're getting a premium. Um, great game, really fun. If you get a chance, um, if you ever see the side armor, if you're thinking about it, if you ever see the side armor for sale, grab it, because right now that stuff is super hard to come by. Uh, the toppers, you've seen more and more pop up. I think if they do another run of Elvira's, I'm hoping they would kind of honor for those people that have been waiting two and a half years for their game would do another another run of the toppers because you see the price on that topper anywhere from 2500 to like 1200 right now it's insane it's thousand dollars but i get it you know some of the stuff they might not make it again and um i'm i'm bummed i didn't buy uh, the ghostbusters topper um when i first got that machine because it was it was like 300 bucks and now it sells for like three thousand dollars not that i would sell it i mean it'll stay with the game but it's pretty cool um how do you like Mando Premium? I only played the Pro. Uh, I like the Premium. I really like the, the moving upper play field. Um, I don't think it's worth the price difference on that game. Um, I don't think it's worth the price difference. Uh, well, actually, uh, that's a tough one because I just remembered. Oh, getting out of the drain. What did I get, a double? I got a double for that, huh? Um, I mean, that, the scope shot with the diverter that comes down, that one's pretty cool, too. Um, but I don't know. I like, I do really like the moving play field, to be honest, now that I think about it. I do like it. Oh, on the Pro, I just, I don't know. It just doesn't feel the same. Um, I do like the moving play field on the Premium. And I like that scoop shot that kind of rolls around the diverter that comes down. Um, but I don't, I don't know if that's enough to spend extra money for the Premium. Uh, John Eldridge, lowering flipper strength makes that shot more accessible. Um, which one are you talk? Which shot are you talking about? Um, let's see. If you can get a good balance so the other shots are still attainable from the reduced power. 
Will you have this game for a couple of years? Um, I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, right now, a lot of the games that I still I have right now, they're keep. A lot of them are keepers. They're gonna be really tough for me to part with. You know, it's it's six years of me kind of finding out what games I like. Um, so uh, this one, when I picked it up, that was my thought. You know, um, you know what, for me, I, I always want to have at least one floater. I call them floater pins, but. Uh, that's my way of saying, you know, just a pin that, you know, I play it, I enjoy it, I stream it. Uh, but when I'm ready to get something new, that's the one that's going to leave um, to pay for the new one. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how Bond plays out. Um, woo! That's a tough one. They give me a double. It's hard to tell sometimes that they're giving you a double. Um... Damn it. I will not stop shaking the game. It's my game, and if I want to beat it up, I can. Oh, ball three. Four million. Wow, we've fallen far from like 300 and something million to like, I don't know, 40 to four. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, you know, I usually don't mess with... The, if I do end up messing with anything a little bit, I didn't do it on this game because I wanted to keep everything stock, but... Every once in a while, I'll tinker with the power settings on the slingshots. Because um, there's times where it's like, you know, when it's coming off the rail over there and it's hitting a slingshot and, you know, from here, you got to nudge it. And if you don't, it's gone. Um, you know, so sometimes that'll bug me and I'll tinker with those a little bit. But I left this one stock. I wanted to see seven degrees, you know, standard outlane posts the way they come and normal settings. So it's mean. It's definitely mean. Um... What's funny is uh, I've been playing a ton of this and a little bit of Iron Maiden, um, but not much else in the last, you know, other than the last stream I did. But, um, but yeah, the, both of those games are set at seven, so I'm curious how it's going to feel playing Godzilla. Oh, death saves. They're fun. Don't judge. They're really fun. In a home setting, they're fun. And guess what? If you come here and you play... This game's gonna be set up just like that, and you get to do it too if you want. Mm. Brutal, see? That's the kind of crap where the slingshot strength kills me. Um, I don't know, I, I haven't, I think the longest game I've had is Ghostbusters. Um, that was one of the oldest ones. I've had that about four years. Um, and then I think second, it's gotta be Elvira. Um, that was right at the beginning of the pandemic. I've had that two and a half years. Um, so I don't know. Those are uh, Godzilla and Elvira, two games I would definitely hang on to. So I'm going to hang on to those for a while. Uh, I'm really enjoying them. Um, but I don't know if I'll have Bond in a couple years. We'll see. You know, the other thing too is if I, if I beat a game, unless it has a lot of replayability uh, to me, um, like Deadpool, I, I beat it uh, right after the holidays. Um, so um, Deadpool, I beat it, um, which was cool. Well, I had Insider Connected on uh, when I played the game. I, it wasn't on um, it wasn't on stream, but I had Insider Connected going, which was pretty cool. So I got all those achievements and the stuff to go into, uh, under my my thing. Um, but uh, yeah, it has replayability too. Like I want to play it every once in a while. I go over there, I'm like I want to play Deadpool because it's just fun. Um, so. You know, those replayability games will stick around. Um, I'm finding I'm, I'm enjoying games with, like, the deeper code. I love the Bally and Williams games. Um, and, and they're a blast to play, but if you get through them, like, sometimes you don't want to... I was talking about that today with someone. Uh, I, I loved my Adams. That was my first pinball machine. But I, I triple toured the mansion in a single game. And after that, it just... It didn't have a lot of replayability. I mean, beautiful game, classics, right? Um, but I'm just finding that, you know, especially with the, the the price point that these games are getting to, the price point these games are getting to, um, um, yeah, it's, I'm just getting pickier. I need, 
I want to get more for my money. You know, like, um, you know, even Twilight Zone. That's my favorite. That's my favorite Valley game. Um, love it. I had one. I kind of regret selling mine, but you know what? Even at that, and that's my favorite one, I don't think I need to own it again. If CGC reruns it, may, maybe. But it, like at that point, I'm buying it to keep it. And you know, if that's gonna be 12, 13,000 bucks, that's a ton of money. And it's like, I've already been through it. Unless it's got new code and there's some, some different stuff, I don't know how I'd feel about that. You know, I mean, I always joke like, you know, with, with the pins, you know, I just, I tell people, yeah, for the last seven years, you know, um, I've been, I've been kind of collecting machines and buying machines and selling machines and, um, but playing them, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not a flipper. Um, I want to play through the games, um, you know, always try and sell stuff at a fair price uh, when I do sell things. I usually have a network of people uh, that are close by that I, we all kind of go to each other first when we're thinking about selling something, um, which is nice, you know, and we all kind of take care of each other um, when it comes to games. But um, Let's see. Hang on one second. Doctor, no. Okay, this is one of the new modes they added, Trouble in Jamaica. So here we are at that tricky, tricky shot right there. Again. Okay. All right, this is the best way for me to hit the shot, man. Oh, we need up the middle. Heart attack, dude. Tough shots, man. Where are we? Up the middle? Makes me sad. Hurting my feelings on Valentine's Day. Um, let's see. Uh, I stopped listening to the pinball show because I saw the notification for this. <laughs> oh, appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Joplin Pinball, how you doing? Um, anything older you are looking for early solid state? Um, see, if I get my arrows right, F14. That's when I would consider, if I found one and if I found one at a good price that was just okay, um, I'd hard top it. You know, but if I found one in good condition, it's one of those ones, it might not be a keeper, but it's one it'd be fun to play. Um, F-14, it's, it's fast. Uh, uh, two folks we know down in South Carolina um, have one and he redid it, put a hard top on it, and cabinet decals, this is beautiful. Hmm. I had a Flash Gordon um, that I restored, uh, put a new, uh, put a hard top on it. Um, that was fun, um, but it was mean. That was a mean game, too. Um, that's one of those games like Fathom. If you took Flash Gordon and had him do it with new code and, like, update it to a lot more stuff, I'd be on that game if it was the old artwork and all that. Yeah, Barracora. Yep. Um, yep, I've seen a lot of people talking about that. Um, like in that game. Yeah, but the one thing on this, the one thing on this game that gets me, it really gets me is the, uh... oh, oh, no, no, no. This is the time limits to complete the modes. Some of them are really tough, man. They are, uh, they are short windows. I mean, it's like, you gotta stage your shot. You gotta stage your shot, or you ain't getting through the mode.
Okay, so one of the funny things, Flash Gordon is a brutal machine. I agree with you, man. Um, uh, my wife uh, really didn't enjoy it. Um, she said it was just way too mean. And I don't disagree with her on that. Uh, and she really, she is not a huge fan. There's a couple older games she really likes. She's, she does like theater magic a lot. But uh, one of the things she always hates about the uh, either the DMD games or the solid state games, they don't have ball save. A lot of them don't have a, I mean, you might have a one second ball save once, you know, like um, after a plunge, something happens. But um, that's one thing that drives her nuts with those games. And, and I gotta be honest, sometimes when I play them on location, I forget. And I'm like, oh, where's my ball save? And then I realize, oh, shit, I don't get a ball save. Because, uh... Oh! Wow. Be dumber with the pinball, right? Uh, yeah, Flash Gordon's brutal. Uh, but I like it. I like the theme, the cheesiness of it. Um, all right, uh, let's get one more game going, and then we'll uh, check chat, check and see who's on. Uh, and we're going to raid somebody. Hopefully people are playing pinball. Or maybe I'm the odd man out tonight. Like, everybody's doing Valentine's stuff. Um, earlier I said, uh, I asked my wife. I said, hey, are we doing anything for Valentine's tonight? She said, uh, no, why? And I said, well, do you want to hang out and watch, watch something or whatever? I said, or are you going to end up falling asleep on the couch at 8.30? And she said, oh, I'll probably fall asleep on the couch at 8.30. And I just said, so you're telling me to stream. So here we are. So maybe I'm the only person streaming pinball tonight. We'll check here after this game. Um, if this is absolute terrible... Oh, we haven't played this one tonight yet. So this has stages. I'd love to show you guys the second stage, but I, I kind of have to have a pinball. Ugh, <laughs> oh, brutal. Wow, that is a terrible ball, and we don't restart here, though, because I am the ball three king. Maybe that should be my uh, should be my claim to fame. I'm the ball three king. One and two, not so much. Ball three, yeah, we're going to... Oh, see? I tried to say something positive there, and I just missed that shot. It, like, it did a swirl around the scoop. That scoop is square, and I swear to God it swirled around that thing. Gomez knows what I'm talking about. He designed it that way. I know it. Just trying to be mean, Gomez. Mmm, see? Ah. See, uh, have you had Rush yet? Uh, I had Rush here for two months. Um, it was a swap. I sent my Godzilla to my buddy Matt. He sent me his Rush LE. That thing was beautiful. Like, the cabinet and all that, like, just beautiful. Um, enjoyed the game. Awesome light show on it. Um, I had one or two games on stream where I really opened it up and kind of had that special moment where it's like, I couldn't miss. I think I played like 10 minutes on one ball and it just felt so good. I had a couple multi balls mixed in and I got to see a lot of stuff. So once I hit that point, I was like, oh, I get it when people, cause that game is super deep. There's a lot you can do, a lot you can do with, um, with records, uh, the, the colors matching the colors and then stacking certain things a certain way to blow it up and you know there's a ton going on and I didn't even scratch the surface on it so if you're somebody who loves rules like mm, that's that's a fun one um, kind of like uh, with Batman you had the the crazy order stuff everybody knew what the order was but if you line it all up right dude sky high scores um, just grabbed a premium yeah I'll tell you I played the pro uh, a decent amount of games on the pro played a lot of games on the le um and that's one where i i, I would say you know if, if you're if you can swing it the premium's good i like the buck when you kick it in the dead end and it comes and it feeds it back and i like the lift ramp uh i like the lift ramp on the time machine um so is it a lift ramp yeah yeah i i like that and then um I'm not sure about the scoop on the left, but there's something different with the pro and the premium on that one. I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, I, I like the LE. That's one where I would say, you know, uh, premium's probably the way to go. Let's see. Um, 
Yeah, it's cool. Cracked a billion the other night. So much going on. I'm a huge Bond fan, and after watching this, I'm really thinking about going with an Elvira now. That or Toy Story. I love that game uh, for my family and I. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's. I'll tell you, Elvira. Elvira is the way to go um, between Bond and Elvira. Uh, Elvira is loaded. That was one of Lyman Sheets' last games. The code in it is awesome. So much going on. You're happy. It's happy. It's silly. It's super tense. Um, you know, you have the humor worked in. You have all the innuendos. Like, the play field's really pretty to look at. Like, the artwork looks great. I mean, I love it. I love that game. I love it. Between Bond, Premium, and Elvira, I would, I would say go Elvira any day of the week. Um, let's see. Yeah, and the drops lock. Yep, that's it. One um, new follower. Thank you for the follow. Holy crap, you see that? Told you Gomez ain't messing around. Nighthawk Aviator. Right, uh, that's the F-117. So the question for you, were you a Nighthawk Aviator in real life? Was that your job? Because I'm a huge aviation buff. And uh, I was pretty stoked if, if you are if you are into aviation, that F-117, I was so happy when those pictures popped up online of the F-117 actually flying in and out of, like, I think the Tonopah test range. And everybody was like, did we just see an F-117 that was required 20-something years ago? Um, I was stoked when I saw that. Um, oh, I'll grab that chat in a second. I'm practicing the art of the light slap because usually I, I do the uh, nasty slap where I get really mad. Um, little baby, baby slaps. Can I say baby slaps? Is that okay? Baby slaps. Let me tell you about baby slaps. <laughs> In pinball. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. One of the things I've been messing around with a little bit, because uh, at one of the tournaments, uh, there's a player named Dwayne, great pinball player. Um, his nudging skills kind of off the chart. So when he plays, I like to, I just like to see kind of what he does. And he kind of, when he nudges, he nudges down. It's the weirdest thing. And I, I've seen him, um, you think of like nudging up on the pinball machine, but uh, pull the pinball machine down, like towards you to, to like deaden things. So I've, I'll mess with that every once in a while, and it's pretty crazy when you get it to work. I just wish I was more aware of when to, to pull the machine towards you. Um, and I'm getting better at it, but it, it's like anything else. It takes a while to figure out, I'm sure. Now I'm hitting the scoop all day long, but when I'm in a mode where I gotta hit the scoop, it ain't gonna happen. Damn it, I knew it, I knew it was going. Um, uh, let's see, oh, the Nighthawk, yeah, you're right, the helicopters, is that the A, oh, is, it, is that the, yeah, is that the AH-60? I can't, I love, I love the copters too, but I've always been into the planes. Um, yeah, the Nighthawk, I, I don't know why. Um, oh, and thank, again, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Uh, getting ready to fire my Bond LE up, having enjoyed watching the stream so I can actually see the video clips. Uh, yeah, and not that. Yeah, when I play, I don't. I miss a lot of stuff from that. Fly a pa uh, AH 64 Apaches in the Army. F 17 is one of my favorite, though. My previous company I was in where we were the Nighthawks. Nice. Gotcha. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, those, those Apaches are gnarly, too, man. You know, um, those things are mean. Um, I used to, when I lived in Southern California, um, I know it's not the army, don't get mad, uh, but, uh, we would, uh, we would cycle, um, and we'd go on these long rides from, like, Southern California and ride all the way down to San Diego from Orange County, but as part of it, uh, what was kind of cool 
is uh, as long as you brought your ID with you, they would let you cycle through the military base. Uh, so we would we would uh, we would cycle through the base, and it was like 10 miles maybe through the base, 10 or 15 miles on the bikes. So you saw all kinds of stuff over there, um, and you'd see them reloading ships, like all sorts of oh. Every once in a while, you get buzzed by like an osprey because they were messing around and they're just, you know, fooling around with you. Um, but yeah, I, I love that. We um, we always like to go to the air shows. So um, we'll go this year. We were just talking about it earlier. Uh, we used to go to the Miramar Air Show. Uh, and there was one in Inland Empire, March Airfield. But now that we're on the East Coast, um, let's see. I think Cherry Point. You know, Cherry Point's one of the one of the next ones. Is it Cherry Point or Goldsboro? Um, but yeah, we love going to them. I'll tell you one of my favorite things. I tell them like the strafing runs with the strafing runs with the copters, like the simulated runs. Um, I love those. And the uh, yeah, the, the simulated rocket attack stuff. Those were always fun. I love watching those. It's crazy when you see the wall of fire during those things, where especially if they do the simulated bombing runs with the fighter jets. And you just feel the heat from that wall of fire. And I mean, you're like thousands of feet away and you can feel it. It's insane. Um, oh, that was a horrible attempt. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my death saves where instead of getting two tilts, I only get one. So it's got to be a quicker left-right. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm based in North Carolina. So... It's, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of time out in uh, early 2000s until uh, you know, about four, about six years ago, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, I lived all over the place, but I uh, was in California for a while. And funny thing is when I left California and came to North Carolina, there's not where I live. There's not a whole lot of bike lanes. I was riding. I was, you know, I was riding the uh, the road bikes, the carbon fiber ones, your your uh, Lance Armstrong bicycles. Um, no bike lanes here. A lot of backcountry roads. A lot of scary places. I would never want to ride a bike. Um, I rode for about ten years in California, but is really set up for riding in Southern California. Um, so, anyways, where I'm going with that is, I actually my bike. I had a really nice bike electronic shifting just loaded um when i when we realized we were going to move i decided i was going to sell my bike and i'd always wanted a pinball machine so i took the money from my my bike when i sold it and uh oh, and i bought a pinball machine ah, and that's how i got into pinball back in 2016 so <laughs> i took a really healthy thing that i was doing all the time and riding a lot and I traded in for a pinball machine, but you know what? This has brought me a shitload of happiness and fun. So, um, all right, let's take a look and see who's on. We're at we're at two hours on the stream. Let me check, see who's on. Um, I always like to pay it forward, so you know we got some great viewers. Thanks for hanging out tonight. Um, let's see. All right, uh, we got Buffalo Pinball, and it looks like they're playing. Is that Alice Cooper's Nightmare Castle? I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, so let's check that out. Uh, awesome. Uh, but thank you for hanging out tonight. Um, I'll be back on uh, probably... I'm going to play in a tournament on Thursday. So um, I don't know what got cooking tomorrow. But in worst case scenario, I'll be back on on Sunday. Uh, but I'll try and get another one in before then, uh, depending on schedule. Um, so thanks for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the follows and the support. You know, um, you know I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to kick it over to the end screen here in a second. Then we're going to raid Buffalo Pinball. So hang out if you want to jump in and check them out. They're awesome. They've been around forever. I wouldn't be streaming if it wasn't for them too because they showed me how to... The, I read the, read the article on the capture cards and how to do it. So that was one thing I wanted to do with the streaming is have the direct capture stuff. So thank you to Buffalo Pinball uh, and all the good streams. Uh, I appreciate it. So we're going to raid them. Uh, kick it over to end screen. Say... Ugh. can't talk tonight. Stay safe play more pinball.